As you all know, Notion's released some brand new game-changing features. Notion forms, customized layouts, formula automations, and more. I'll create a perspective video in the coming weeks, but in today's video, I wanted to showcase a short demo on how you might be able to meaningfully take advantage of some of these features together. Although this will be a very simple demo, my hope is that you'll learn how you can integrate some of these brand new features in your workflow by the end of the video. Let's say you're collecting demographic information and you want a way to automate the way you collect information, notify the user, create action steps for your team, and visualize the data publicly as responses come in. Maybe you're also interested in receiving comments around the data publicly too. And maybe there's a specific demographic that you're trying to target. We want to automate this target in a way that stands out for our action items. Now, with formula automations, this becomes a lot easier. Once you've set a certain criteria, we can filter and indicate database entries that match our target audience. We're going to start with a Notion form and then utilize Notion automations and Notion formulas to create action items. And then after that, we're going to send a Notion email and leverage Notion charts and buttons to gain additional feedback from these users. The demo synapsis is a very helpful to just glance at so that you kind of understand what we're going through. Again, there were a lot of Notion updates and I apologize for not coming out with a video sooner, but I think I need some adequate time to sort of show and demonstrate the value of all these new updates in a future video. So let's start with the Notion form. I'm gonna copy this link and go to the form itself. I'm just gonna add some dummy data for now. I wanna show how everything works so that you gain a sense for the opportunity and the capabilities after this brand new update. I'm gonna submit it, and let's see what happens after that form submission. I've set it up to receive a notification, so if I go to my inbox and view more, I can see that a new response from Ray, at this time, they're interested in formulas and consider themselves a solopreneur. They would like to schedule a meeting on November 22nd. This notification was created using dynamic variables that Notion just came out with, and I can immediately click on this entry to see all that information as well. Notice how I've created automated action items to email and call Ray on the dates that were specified. And then I've also created a simple formula to see if this matches our target audience. Obviously, this is a very simple formula and you can get a lot deeper than this, but just wanted to illustrate the blend of Notion formulas in general and then Notion automation formulas as well. So again, this is Notion form is connected to this interest database that I've created, as you can see here. And so I'll just run through the automations that were needed to create that notification, among other things. And I guess before I get into that, I also want to check my email to see if I've got an email for my submission. If we go to our email, it appears as Notion workflow sent to me, reply to my business email, and it's sent using my account email as well. As you can imagine, the name is dynamic, and then I've created a helpful link to check out the distribution of responses here, and then add any comments in this page. And this data breakdown is basically an illustration of all the information that's been collected, which might be helpful to the people that are submitting information and want to get an idea for the distribution of data. It looks like, based on the dummy information I've already filled, most people are solopreneurs, and they're interested in formulas, and there's a pretty equal distribution of age based on the responses. November received the most responses, and it's kind of fluctuating between August and October as well. I've linked the comment section here, so in case they wanted to jump to that, they can. You can actually edit the page, and you actually need to edit the page to add a comment, but anyone can actually add a comment as long as they are signed in through their Notion account. Obviously, this might not be ideal for everyone, but this is just a small example to sort of piece together all the sort of features that we can take advantage of in Notion natively now. Now that we've checked out that email notification, let's go back to the back end. So if we go to the automation set up in the interest database, that notification that I showed earlier uses all of those filled database properties to create a custom notification message and specified people to show a sort of rough summary of who submitted what information. If we go to the other automation that's set up, we start to use the variables that are now available through Notion formula automations. As you can see, I've set up a few variables, and let's start with these first five before I get into the formula that I've created. As you can imagine, the trigger page is the page that was created, and the true variable in this case is referencing a formula that I've created and showcased earlier, where if it matches a certain criteria, it shows true, otherwise it shows false. 
These other variables are pretty straightforward. They're just one-to-one -one equivalents of the phone and email. And then this one is showing the name specific to that entry and the response date specific to that entry. Now, the dynamic formula variable that we're creating is the demographic status. And so if the trigger page's occupation status is small business and they are younger than or equal to 30, we're gonna call them young small business. The same thing applies with a solopreneur. And if they're younger than 30, we're gonna call them a young solopreneur. Otherwise, we're gonna leave that as blank. And this is a dynamic demographic status variable that we've created within the automation, but this property or this formula doesn't exist anywhere else. And so you can imagine how valuable that is to be able to create a dynamic formula output specific to a notion automation, as opposed to having it be a property that remains within a database and that will always exist. So if we scroll down, we can kind of see a new thread of Notion automation features. Now that we've defined all those variables, we can simply add them within the new action items that are part of this interest form submission. If we want to create an email or a phone call, I've created separate database templates to relationally link to the initial response. And now we can also specify the email, the name, the date, and then also the the status specific to the demographic status that we set here. We can also set the target as true if this target checker shows true. Otherwise, it's not going to show at all. And then the last sort of automation action would be to send an email like I just showed. And this is basically how that's set up. And you can customize all these different things within the email itself. Obviously, there's limitations with this email action, but I'll go over those in another video. So those are the two simple automations I've set up just within this interest database that also uses Notion forms. And so if we go to the actions, this is set under a private page. And so these actions are private to myself, but everything else is public because we also want to showcase the charts and then add comments like we showed earlier. We can see that these calls and emails are automatically created. Phone is specified in the phone database template and email is specified in the email database template. As you can imagine, we can open it up and then I've created a simple AI button in which you can add a custom prompt and then generate a response or an output based on that custom prompt that you specified. So if I generate this, it will basically create a list of instructions based on the prompt that I specified. I think this is an underutilized aspect of Notion. I highly suggest experimenting with it to see if it might fit your needs and your workflows. Now I mentioned a target audience and I've used this checkbox as a way to signify that. And we can use that sort of filtering as a way to access separate database views like here. Now, if you remember from this interest database that I've created, the target checker says if they're a small business and they specify this age range, then they are our ideal target. So if I go back to the interest form again and submit this information as a small business that fits that age criteria, let's see what happens. We see everything is populated immediately and we see this target checker as checked. And you can see those automations are running in the background. And then if we go here and check the action items, we can see the target is also checkboxed as well. And so if we go back to the actions database and go to target, we can see that all of our target audience action items can be filtered under this view. And we see that the status is a young small business, right? And this is actually just a text property, but it's adopting that dynamic variable that we set up within this automation, right? Because this new entry is a small business and they are under the age of 30, we're going to call it young small business. And that dynamic variable gets filled under that status as well. And so as you can imagine, if you combine that with that Notion AI prompting, you can kind of use those properties that are dynamically filled in relation to the output that AI creates. So that is all to say, there's a lot of opportunity within these Notion automation formulas and dynamic variables. And there's a lot of cool ways in which you can interact all of Notion's features in a meaningful way once you sort of have an idea for how you might be able to take advantage of everything incrementally. This was a rather short video, and I wanted to just show you how some of these features can be used in real time as opposed to just going over what they are and so on and so forth. Again, I'll be creating a perspectives video on how this changes everything in the future, but as you can already tell, time is not something I have 
a lot of, and so I will need to carefully balance school, clients, academics, clubs, extracurriculars, and all that stuff so that I keep my sanity and I can sustainably grow this channel while making sure that the content is still valuable. That was a very short feature demo. And again, this demo was focused around these five bullet points and using the features of Notion Forms, Notion Automations, Notion Formulas, Notion Email, Notion Charts, and Notion Buttons. That is a lot to think about, but as you can imagine, now that everything is native to Notion, it eliminates the need for other third-party programs, and you can create basically native solutions in Notion so that you can kind of save money, automate a lot of different types of things, and synergize all the features that are available to you now in 2024. Hopefully this all makes sense and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.